Hi and welcome. My name is Sanna and today I would like to show you how our iontophoresis device works. For those of you who don't know anything about iontophoresis, it's a scientifically proven method for treating hyperhidrosis, meaning excessive sweating. The method has been around for decades and when used regularly it has a good effect on hyperhidrosis mainly in the palms, feet and armpits. Our iontophoresis device can be used to treat palms and feet at the same time, but it requires a higher current and therefore we do recommend you to treat them separately. Please be aware, you may not use the device if you are pregnant, have a pacemaker or any metal implants in your body. You may, however, use the device if you are breastfeeding. There are no exact settings that suits everyone, so we do recommend you to systematically try out different settings to find out what suits you best. I will today perform a treatment, and after that I will share some useful tips on how you best succeed with your treatment. Okay, let's go! Start by unpacking your equipment. Inside your box you will find our device, a Hydroxa SC20, two pairs of electrodes in two different sizes, and two plastic containers. Inside the device you will find a battery charger and two blue straps. The blue straps and the smaller electrode pockets are used to treat the armpits. I will put them aside for now and get back to them some other time. Okay, let's start with the larger electrodes. Inside each electrode pocket there's a rubber electrode. The electrodes are already inside when you receive this package, but please make sure that the cables are fully inserted in each electrode. Take the black and the red cable and connect them to your device. Take the plastic containers and pour in some water. The water should cover the area you wish to treat. For example, if you want to treat the palms, you should have enough water that it covers the palms but no more than that. After pouring in the water, place each electrode pocket in each container. Then choose if you want pulsed current or constant current. We do recommend in most cases that you use pulsed current. You are now ready to start your treatment. Start by turning on your device and choose your desired level of current. Place each hand in each container and this will start your treatment. If it's your first treatment, we do advise you to ask someone to help you adjust the level of current. This is because you can have your hands in water while finding out which current suits you best. You should increase the current until you feel a bit of discomfort. As soon as you feel discomfort, slightly decrease the current level. It should not hurt to have a treatment, but the higher the current, the faster the results. When you are finished with your treatment, turn off your device and disconnect the cables from your device. Take out the electrodes from the water and disconnect the cables from them as well. Pour out the water from the containers and gently wash the electrodes under lukewarm water. Please do not take out the rubber electrodes from the pockets because they can be a bit tricky to put back inside once removed. So just gently wash them under lukewarm water and then let them out to dry. For you to have the best treatment, we want you to succeed, and therefore we have some useful tips for you. Tip number one. If you have some small wounds in the area you wish to treat, please cover them with, for example, Vaseline. This is because damaged skin has a lower resistance and therefore the current gets higher in these particular areas. Tip number two. If you feel like your skin's resistance is getting higher and higher, make it impossible for you to perform a treatment. This is a good thing. This means you have received an effect. If this is the case, wait a few more days before you do your next treatment. And finally, tip number three. If you feel like you have started to receive the level of effect you have desired, then try to do your treatments more seldom. How often a person needs to do a treatment is very individual, so try and find out what suits you best. That was all from us today. Please check out our FAQ if you have any questions on our website, or otherwise don't hesitate to contact us through email or chat if you have any other questions. Good luck!